I've been very impressed with the YouTube channels that are a target that target pre-medical students in preparation, such as Med School Insiders. But I do have one significant, maybe even a game-changing reservation or concern. I'm Dr. Chad Swanson. I'm an emergency physician. I've been in practice for a little over 20 years, and I'm on a journey to transform our health system. I create these daily videos to share my thoughts about the need for transformational change. I spent an hour or two last night uh, looking at websites such as Dr. Kevin Jabal's Med School Insiders. And then uh, that was the primary one I looked at, but I also looked at Med School Coach and Med School Headquarters. Really impressed with these websites. And I kind of wish I had something like that when I was applying to medical school. So for example, Med School Insiders talks about GPA, MCAT, um, majors, uh, DO versus MD, and there's just a lot of emphasis on data. So what uh, majors do most medical schools um, accept or, or what's your chance of getting in if you have a certain uh, MCAT score or GPA? Very helpful if you're interested in going to medical school. Now take my thoughts with a grain of, thought, a grain of salt. I'm not on an admis admis admissions committee for any medical schools. I don't advise many pre-medical students. I haven't been, I applied to medical school, whatever, 24 some years ago or something. Um, and I just looked at these websites for an hour or so. So this is not a comprehensive review of the websites. It's just my thoughts. And here's my key thought is these websites are designed to prepare students, pre-medical students, and optimize their chances at getting accepted into a medical school and practice in a health system that is highly flawed and very outdated. And so my concern is that we are taking advantage of a system that's highly flawed. So these, uh, these websites often focus heavily on the um, memorization aspect of of pre-medical students in medical, in medical school. So as pre-medical uh, students, if you're very good and have the commitment and the privilege, the opportunity to um, memorize a ton of stuff, then you're going to do a lot better on the MCAT and you're going to do um, have a higher chance of getting into medical school. You are, th these websites also um, kind of have a hierarchy of, at least the way I interpreted it, a hierarchy of uh, medical schools. So those that are um, kind of legacy or uh, affiliated with um, more quote unquote prestigious universities. So I'm talking about Harvard and Stanford and Johns Hopkins and these others. Um, then those are considered quote unquote better. At least that was my interpretation. And then there's also a sense that more competitive specialties um, were, were, were better. Um, my contention is that as a society, we need a transformational change. So we need to shift away from our, our health system, uh, foundation on biomedical reductionism, which is what the health system has been based on, uh, since the early uh, 1900s with an emphasis as well on financial reward profits and prestige or elitism and shift that towards a complex adaptive social systems perspective with, F, with uh, equity and efficiency driving our health system. So I created a video yesterday, I'll provide a link in the descriptions with a, a list of five things that I think medical stu or pre-medical students should do so that they can not only excel in the current health system and get, get accepted to medical school, but also play a role in transforming the system because that's what I think we need. I think we need about 10 times more people than we have now to transform our health system. So one final thought is this is a classic example of emergence and self-organization in, um, in, uh, in complex systems. And so currently our, um, our health system is highly oriented towards uh, biomedical reductionism. So if we can memorize as much organic chemistry and biochemistry and physics uh, and, um, and learn those things, then we can get into better medical schools, despite the fact that the evidence is weak for those subject matters and the ability to memorize to make outstanding positions. There are a number of other topics and, and um, skills such as statistics 
and interpersonal relationships and mobilizing communities, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, social change that could contribute to improved health and well-being. And yet we've decided to uh, overemphasize um, one aspect of, of, of science and, um, and care. And so, and so physicians such as Dr. Jubal and these organizations have created businesses around this to take advantage of the opportunity to um, optimize the chances for, for pre-medical students to get into medical school. I'd love your thoughts. Thank you very much.